Me and Bone13 are going to be playing this on Saturday, September 24th, so come join us. Look for the video that is scheduled on my channel. This is just a tutorial. I had to get through this to do multiplayer, uh, so enjoy. We'll see you Saturday. Welcome to Construction Simulator. Today we're going to be going through the tutorial in this sh short, hopefully, video. I've heard the horror stories. The tutorial is like three hours long. Uh, I'm going to be going through this uh, in a short, edited version uh, before me and Bone13 actually get started. Bone13 is going to be joining me for the live stream today. Let's get into this because this is super, super long. You can see I've already played for an hour. Uh, <laughs> so it is quite the adventure here. Uh, starts off, you get to pick your character. So we're going to choose and we're just going to go with something bland here. We'll just go like that and then we'll go helmet. Yes. Yep. Okay. That all looks good. Uh, except there's lots of customizations here you can do. So check those out. If you play, player name, deuce. Okay. Uh, deuce uh, test. We'll just do it that way. That way I know. Uh, and then start your own game. So uh, real quick before you do this, you do have to, one reason we're going through this is to join a multiplayer game, you have to go through the entire tutorial first. So we're going to create a new company. We're going to say US. Uh, accept and then uh, that's fine for that. Okay, company name uh, Deuces uh, Test De Deuces uh, uh, Tutorial I think that's how you spell that. All right, let's go. Uh, so attention to create multiplayer game You need to select a company with which you have co already completed the uh, opening campaign. So yeah, you have to do that first That's the reason we're doing this. Uh, and This might be pretty long. I don't know. A one-horse town. One summer morning, you wake up in a small hometown. In the distance, the rooftops are sweltering, sweltering city flash in the light of sun. You vigorously forge plans for leaving the sleepy place as quickly as possible, but there no, there's no escape without money or wheels. Then, out of the blue, an old acquaintance gets in touch. It's Hoppe, the owner of a small local construction company. He may look tough on the outside, but his heart's in the right place, and his guidance helps you quickly break into the building industry. So it's time to set off for, for, for adventures in the world of self uh, in the world in the world of the self-employed my goodness all right tutorial move the camera so you actually have to click because you can see my mouse moving around here uh, you actually have to click left or right click to move your mouse around uh, this does nothing it just zooms in and out so that's your scroll mouse uh, there's a grasshopper or a leaf or something on the ground in front of me I'm not sure what that is uh, and then WSAD to walk just like normal shift sprints so there's some odd keys in this game so try to keep up with it uh, follow the marker to Hape, and I know I it, it looks like Hape to me because I've actually heard somebody with the name Hape, which is H-A-P-E, but he says Hape. So here we go. Ah, good to see you again. Your active help is most welcome. I'm having a tough time keeping up with all the work. Do you know how many people around here are frustrated and thinking of moving away? If things keep going like that, this place could become a ghost town. To make matters worse, the water supply broke down this morning. It seems there's a crack in the pipeline. So if you want to help give people here another chance, let's fix the water line first. Get in your tractor and go to the local building supply store. You'll find a new pipe section there ready for pickup. Just follow the navigation to get there. In the meantime, I'll head to the pipeline and take a closer look at the damage. Okay, sounds good. Uh, so now we're off to the store. So uh, I've already done some of this and I'm only gonna show the driving once just so you can see that it's kind of good. Uh, so here's the odd keys, G to enter. I've never seen a game with G to enter, uh, but it's WSAD to drive if you don't have a wheel set up, which I'm guessing this game supports wheels because it does say something about the settings. Uh, so off we go. Uh, the driving feels pretty good, feels pretty smooth. There is an in cab view, which is K, which again is really strange. Uh, the there is no field of view so this is your field of view right here it is very tight it's like I'm leaning on the steering wheel for some reason so uh, if there is a field of view I have missed it somebody let us know in the comments I know this is live at the time uh, so you let me know in the comments if there's a field of view I will gladly go change it because I don't like this we're gonna get back out of the cab now and turn in uh, so it says back up close to the cargo and then press uh, space to couple this is what I don't like is the camera sometimes does stuff like that so you gotta be very careful about, uh, about what you're doing here. It's a bit touchy sometimes as well, so we're just gonna ease back. I said ease back. All right, space. We couple up to that. Uh, something else that seems fairly not right is loading a heavy pipe on one side of this trailer, even with that many wheels. Just doesn't seem like a great idea. So there's lots of little cutscenes like this. In the next few steps, we're gonna cut a bunch of this kind of stuff. So. Uh, here we go, tractor semi-trailers. Tractors combined with semi-trailers are suitable for a wide variety of transport projects, depending on what 
is to be delivered a specific semi-trailer must be selected. Uh, you must therefore consider what you need, uh, wh whether you need a cargo trailer, which is this, a bulk trailer, which is that, or a machine trailer, which is the low boy that technically we're using right now. That's a that's a that's what you should be using. But uh, a multi trailer can carry out both carry both vehicles and cargo on loading areas. So I guess what this, this is this is probably a multi vehicle. So this this one, uh, and then just a regular flatbed, which is just a uh, a construction uh, type vehicle, a cargo trans trailer, I guess. Uh, and then a bulk vehicle has got sides on it, so you can dump stuff in it. Uh, and then you have your different trucks, and you got your low boys for vehicle transport up here. And this is probably a combo. That's what it looks like more than anything else. All right, so there we go. Uh, there we go. Uh, message from Hape. When you're ready, come to the pipeline. Have to install the new connecting line here and dispose of the old one. Pulling a trailer takes some practice. Be careful. All right, cool. So we're going to we kind of go this way for now. Uh, and again, the camera is kind of awkward sometimes, so just kind of go with me here. The tutorial does let you get started kind of uh, slowly with... Uh, a place right up here and no I'm not the best driver get used to it because this whole video is going to be full of that and the whole game is going to be full of that honestly when I'm playing so alright so here's the place where we're, we're pulling into uh, and I know already what I have to do so I'm going to make sure that I pull over here as far as I can uh, so we're going to replace this broken pipe and again I'm going to cut all this stuff going forward after this first one I'm going to show you each step to get through this and then we're going to get through it there's a thing on Steam that tells you how to walk through this already uh, for the for the tutorial how to get around it because this tutorial is supposed to be super long so all right we get out uh, yep the machine is stopped thank you very much all right over we go uh, and then we jump into the crane and then there's some buttons we have to hit there's a lot of buttons to this game uh, I've never played one of these so I don't know if the the old construction sim was like this or not so mobile cranes are used on the construction sites on the road to lift heavy uh, heavy loads to elevated positions in addition to their impressive maximum working height. Mobile cranes are characterized by their flexibility and on-site use. Mobile crane can be placed wherever is needed, independent of a crane. Uh, independent of crane area. To switch between the driving mode, which is the wheel, and the function mode, which is the cog, selecting F menu. Again, that's one of those weird situations here. Where we're going to have to uh, do something like this. Uh, I'm actually going to pull forward a bit just so we get away from those uh, things there. I want my legs to be able to come out. So, uh, all right, we're going to switch. So we just press F, and you press F, you don't hold F. You just press F and hit the cogwheel. And again, y'all, you've probably already seen this if you're watching this video. You've probably already seen all of this. There's been creators that have had access to this uh, for weeks now. So uh, now uh, it says in the manual, which is one or F1, uh, we hit the manual real quick just so we can get rid of that. And then F1 uh, shows your controls. So. I've already kind of been through the controls on this. I kind of know what I'm doing, kind of. Not not really, but kind of. Uh, so I'll just get rid of that for now so we don't have to look at it. Uh, actually, you know what? I want to take this one out first, probably be the best bet. Uh, let's go back up, go back up, go back in, up. Okay, over, over we go. Uh, nope, in, sorry, wrong one. I said I kind of know what I'm doing. I was wrong. <laughs> I was bad wrong. All right, we go up with, the, with, up with that one. Uh, up some more. Oh, I don't want to. I don't want to do that. Up, go up, up. There we go. Uh, and we just extend this out here, and we should be good. The music is kind of loud though. Uh, yep. Uh, then we go up some more. Okay, boom. We attach that one, and then we go up some more. And I'm just going to extend this out as we go here. I'm letting go of the up, and I'm just going over. Load the defective pipe onto the loading area of the trailer. Oh wow, that really got moving there. I did not mean for that to happen. Uh, that was wild. Okay. Uh, yeah, load it onto the effective area. Of the Basically, load the load the old one over here. Uh, and as we start to come down, you'll see a little green thing pop up here. Hopefully. I know we're still really high with this one. Yeah. There we go. Uh, when it's green, you're good to let go of it. Uh, uh, apparently. So there we go. That's good. Uh, then we'll just drop that on down here and connect. And then we'll just go up. Then we're going to go over. Uh, it does kind of swing pretty wild if you're using your keyboard because there's no uh, there's no good way to do this. So it's just kind of all or nothing here. And I've seen I've seen people talking about there's no controller support for this either, which is just an absolute shame. Uh, it really should have controller support. So uh, yeah, we're hanging on that. We're going to go up some more. Let's go up some more. Go. Let's let that level back out now, uh, and then we'll just go down lightly. All right, and we can change the camera view. 
by uh, we have to take our hands off of all this so the, the controls we're using are WSAD and then your arrow keys which is just so strange to me after playing farm sim for so long uh, you, you should be able to do all this with your mouse holding the left mouse button to move certain things holding the right mouse button to move certain things holding the center mouse button to move certain things it just makes more sense that way to me but uh, we're trying so we're a natural all right so we don't even have to do all this uh, there's a quick way out of this we can do this and just fold up there you go and you'll see all the legs and stuff fold in there we go put it back in driving mode uh, sorry you'll see this re reset itself and then put it back in driving mode then we can get out um, there we go open F yep we can attract yep got it okay uh, oh we can just reset ourselves that way to get out of the vehicle quickly all right sweet I didn't know that all right now I'm just gonna cut to the next scene you've already seen me drive so we are good uh, off to the next attempt at something here okay here we are pulling up to our next destination and you see these blue this blue parking area which is always nice so there we go we hop out we go talk to Hoppy. I'm relieved thanks to your quick action replacing that broken piece the water supply is repaired and back on good job since we're finished here maybe you could give me a hand with something else old Joe owns a rundown motel on the outskirts of town I've been promising him for a while that I would do some renovations on the place be a good fella and drive the flatbed truck over there. I'll follow behind and tell you what needs to be done. Okay, sounds good. Off we go. And again, this is the flatbed truck. You see it's got a crane on the back of it. Obviously, we're going to be using that. So, uh, no, no. F and G. I've got, I've got to see if you can key map because I haven't tried that yet. I'm going to give it a go, though, and see what happens. All right, so we're going straight. I don't know why the line's got us going that way first, but going straight. I'll see you there. Hey, sometimes you don't get the blue marks you just kind of pull up to wherever that is and you just uh and you just stop there you go and it kicks you out so obviously we're gonna have to use that thing because it's sitting here okay let's go talk to hoppy i don't know why it starts it back up after that. there's a lot of little things that need to be fixed old joe wants us to pretty up his forecourt a little i don't foresee any big problems joe's also been after a new sign on the motel roof for a while now something that travelers can see clearly from the highway as it happens, there's a hotel in town that's about to be torn down. That sly fox Joe picked up the neon sign letters cheap, and a crane operator on the construction site opposite owes me a favor. Drive by there later to pick up the letters. But first, let's take care of the forecourt. I have a roller ready for you, so get in and start compacting. Okay, will do. Uh, and I'm just going to backspace when we get that close to the end of that, because it's all of it. All right, so there's a few little things with this. Uh, most of it, mostly you just stay inside the yellow line, but also if you pull this up, uh, there is a menu, and then you go to the second menu. Uh, actually, there's a menu somewhere that says turn on. Uh, oh, no, I know what it is. It's in the F menu. See, there's so many buttons with this. So we go here, right, and then we say compacting on. So there we go. Compacting is on. Here we go. Uh, and I'll just show you what it looks like here when we start compacting. And the camera, again, is going to be weird. It's going to do this. It's going to flip back and forth and do all kinds of weird stuff, so... Uh, compacting we go though uh, and then uh, we can move the camera after we start the compacting mode so that's not a that's not a real problem there there we go and that's pretty much all there is to this we're literally just compacting the ground you see in the top left this is your overall uh, uh, percentage done which is going to be basically the same for all jobs so that's pretty much it I'm going to skip till we get done with this now Compacting complete, so we're done with that. Uh, we can hop out now. Uh, enter flatbed truck, so there's nothing to talk to uh, Hoppy about. So we're gonna go jump in that flatbed truck and go. Oh, I guess I can show you the difference of what it looks like now, could not? Yeah, see, this is this looks so much better than than this loose stuff over here. This is what it looked like before. This is what it looks like now. It looks so much better. A little compact in the gravel. All right, let's go to the next spot. Monument Hotel is where we're headed. It's right here in front of us. We're robbing some letters off of this sign, apparently. We're going to pull up right here to this zone. There we go. And you see on the left side here, this tower. It's a tower crane that we're going to be using. You can see right there, ECB, uh, to, uh, yep, okay, uh, to get the letters off the crane. Again, that camera flips around, so just get used to that. It's going to happen. All right, so here we go again. Uh, we are going to be grabbing some letters off of this and that is as far in as I can zoom the camera so just bear with me a minute here uh, let's see if we can get these 
letters down here. We do have a marker. You can see down there on the on the rooftop, uh, showing us where these uh, where this is going to come down. So we're trying to get that close to here, uh, and then we just go down and pick it up. Hopefully, that's the idea. Anyway, uh, okay, come back. There we go. Up we go. Then back, and then we can start dropping down as soon as possible. I'll start swinging it in. Now, I do have crane acceleration on, which you can turn off for more real gameplay, I'm sure. Uh, it will probably give you that, a more realistic feel. And we're just going to drop this down as close to the front as we can get it, because we've got to fit five letters on here. You saw the, the five red dots up there. Got to fit five on here. There's no way to rotate this, sadly, but uh, I wish there was. There's not, though. So there we, there we go. Well, I say there we go. Need that thing to spin so I can drop it down. All right, now let's go down. No, I don't want it to go. Yeah, there we go. I want it to go in that one. All right, cool. So we're going to start going up and then out again because we're going to go to this side of the building. Over we go. And this is all to teach you the controls because they are, there are a lot. There are a lot of controls here. So this is to teach you controls of this so that you can get used to it yourself. There we go. And again, I'm probably breaking all kind of stuff here, but I'm just trying to get through this. This tutorial is supposed to be really, really long, so yeah, uh, we're gonna we're gonna show you when the letters are loaded. And I know what you're probably thinking, Deuce, you're skipping all the fun stuff. There'll be plenty of time, I promise. Uh, I promise. There's plenty of time for all that, as you will see uh, in this tutorial, because uh, this is a really long tutorial, a really long tutorial. Uh, but you're right. Yes, I am skipping some of the fun stuff, but uh, it is for good reason. It is so we can get along with this. We're gonna jump out. I'm going to leave that hanging there because I just don't care on this tutorial. Off we go. And we're going to take this back up to the top. I'll see you guys there. And we have arrived. Uh, I think I want to pull as far forward as I can get, as far as it lets me anyway. Alright, now, uh, so we're going to go to the menu again, and we're going to do this. We're going to flip this bad boy to operation mode. You can see the, uh, the legs come out and go down there for safety, of course. And now the camera has pivoted back here. So again, just like before, we're going to do that. We're going to do this. Okay, I, I don't need the manual, we're good. This operates basically the same way. We're gonna pick up, that arm is gonna come up, and then we have another arm that comes up after that. So I'm using WSAD for the main arm, for this arm right here, and the arrow keys are for the extension arm here. We're gonna go around, and we're gonna grab that M. Uh, we're gonna grab that M, <laughs> we're gonna grab the M. Uh, we're gonna go down like so, and then forward. And again, it gives you the marker, which is really nice, because otherwise I would be probably in trouble here. We're going to lift straight up, uh, and then we're going to extend out. There we go. Just going to get up over that, uh, uh, up over the roof line. Oh my god, we're tearing the roof to pieces. Go up, go up. Uh, sure. Uh, no, okay, it won't go there. Uh, unloading is not possible here. I think I have broke something. <laughs> Whoops. Uh, can I not go any higher? Oh, there we go, okay. I had the wrong arm going up, I guess. Uh, again, it's kind of wonky to get used to. I feel like once we get used to it, though, we're going to be good. Uh, see, there we go. There we go again. I'm laying the I'm laying the arms down on top of this thing. There, now. Okay. Now we're coming back in. So we'll just do this, and we'll tilt this down. We'll pick this one up, and then tilt down again. And again, if you, if you have joysticks, right? There's no controller support, apparently, for Steam. But if you have joysticks, uh, it's probably your best option. I'm picking these up out of order, but that's okay. You get the idea. So we are going to go to completion. Uh, editing this in post, there is uh, controller options. I did figure that out later after the uh, tutorial was over. Just keep that in mind. And here we are putting the last letter in. This only took about five minutes to do. <laughs> uh, again, you're in for a really long tutorial if you play this game, so just be prepared. All right, so now we can do this, and we can automatically reset that. That should change all this. Uh, it should anyway. Oh yeah, then we put it back in drive mode. There we go. Sweet. Done. I think we have to talk to Hoppy again. Clear the construction site. Alright, so we just need to drive out of the construction site now. We'll just park right over here. It's fine. Uh, and if you're wondering, yes, the road signs can be damaged, by the way. They, they, you can, you can knock the road signs clean off of their, their foundation. Alright, let's talk to Hoppy again. Oh, Joe won't believe his eyes. The entryway looks better than when this place opened 30 years ago. You did an excellent job. Even the recycled neon signs are working perfectly. 
you can finally see the motel from the highway. I'm sure it will start attracting tourists again. Do you have another minute you can spare? Then let's meet at the old gas station in town. You didn't give us a Someone choice. Someone else there needs our help. Okay, well, let's go. Uh, I ain't got time to stand around and wait, Hoppe. Let's go. Uh, so we've made money. You see our money up in the t it's credits up in the top right-hand corner there. Uh, we have 50,000... Oh, no, I hit the wrong button again. I constantly hit F to enter stuff because it's usually E or F for action buttons. But, yeah, other than that, we're going right across the street over here. Uh, I'll just uh, jump. Pulling up to the gas station. What's the first thing you notice? Yes, there's a backhoe out here. And, yes, we get to drive it. All right, we're going to pull over here. Uh, and actually, we need to back in, probably. But uh, I usually just... Well, I say usually. I've done this once. But pull up on the curb there seems to be a good marker. Uh, all right. So it looks like an old uh, gas tank, septic tank, something. It's probably a gas tank. So we need to pull that out, I guess. Put the new one in. Let's go talk to Hoppe again here. This gas station, owned by Pete and his wife, Helena, has been losing money for some time. But now that more tourists are stopping here off the highway, they want us to build a new tank. The old tank is already waiting for you to lift it out of its pit. I also got a backhoe loader for you, so you can refill the pit when the new tank is installed. Then put some concrete on top and you're done. Piece of cake, right? Yeah, sure. Easy peasy. Uh, wait, he said put some concrete on top and we're done? I think he did. All right, so we gotta get this out of here and then we gotta get a concrete truck, I guess, or something of that nature. All right, cool. I've already done this, I'm just playing. Uh, also, we are stuck, so when you're stuck, you hit backspace, it'll just reset your truck. Uh, I didn't mean for that to happen that way, but I'm glad it did. I got to show you uh, what happens. We need to, oh, God, I'm just running over everything. Typical, typical, typical stuff here. All right, so we're just going to pull right here, and then we're going to hit F, and we're going to flip this bad boy to construction mode. Hopefully, there's enough room there for the legs. There is. All right, cool. Should go ahead and transport us to the crane view. It did. Uh, again, I'm just kind of letting the camera auto do whatever it's doing because it seems to work out better for me most of the time. All right, we got to pull this one out. So let's get over here. Again, there's a little marker. I am going to move, adjust my camera slightly just so I can see the marker better. All right, then we're just going to come down and go out some more. And then we're going to pick up and come in. No reason to get crazy. There is no first-person camera view, like crane view. I really hate that. It would be nice if there was, but... There's not. All right, then we're just gonna set this down somewhat in the center of the truck, preferably, but no, no, set it down, set it, set it down. Sorry, yeah, there we go, preferably. Yeah, again, there's plenty of stuff that you're gonna get to see me do all of. This is one of those times, uh, just cause it's such a short task. There's no reason to skip it. One of the longest tutorials in history of gaming, I do believe, but I feel like I, I complain a lot about games that just kinda don't give you any direction and they're really awkward sometimes uh, it's good that this one actually gives you plenty of that direction that you need uh, that is not where I wanted that to go let's pick that back up and go out okay and there's no way to really spin this either once it starts going it just kind of goes all right so now we can just hit F and we can go back to oh nope uh, sorry we can reset and then we can go back to driving mode there we go and we're just gonna get this truck out of the way and We'll stop right there. That looks good. Okay. And then we got to fill in the hole, right? Enter back hole loader. Sorry, I keep forgetting what the buttons are on this. It's a bit awkward. This is even more awkward because now you're still using your arrow keys for the bucket. Uh, it's, it gets even weirder because now you're using your WSAD to drive, but you're using your arrow keys for the bucket. So it gets really strange and it's very loud. Told you, it is very loud. So... Alright, uh, so we're going to do one out of cab here, uh, so we can get the full view, and then we'll do one in cab, hopefully it doesn't fill it up completely, I doubt it will. Alright, cool, and then we're going to do in cab, because I think this is going to be easier. Uh, my first time around playing through this part, I didn't get all the way through the tutorial, full, full disclosure, did not get all the way through it, uh, ran out of time, uh, came back later to do this video, and still haven't gotten all the way through the tutorial. <laughs> for the playthrough that me and Bone are going to be doing anyway. I'm trying to get this to tilt down to pick up more, but it's not. So there we go. That's what we got. We'll try it to see. Uh, yeah, so I haven't gotten all the way through the tutorial yet. Still working on it. Uh, this will be my first time. Whoa, 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 whoa. What just happened there? 
Uh, this is my first time getting all the way through the, through, through the tutorial. So, uh, at a certain point, I'm not going to have a clue what's going on. Okay, looks like that's about as full as I can get. Over we go. The first person view is much better uh, for this than third person. I, I firmly believe that. Okay. 65% full. It looks like we can only fill that so much because it's only going about uh, three quarters of the way up. The little yellow bar above the odometer on the right hand side, the bottom right, is what I'm looking at, by the way, for the fill level. If you're having any issues, look at that uh, look at that yellow line that comes up when you start grabbing material, and that'll give you a good idea of where you're at. Did it go up there? That's as far as it wanted to go, so that's where we're going to stop. Uh, and this should fill it up completely. It looks like about 30% of the time, so. And that should do it. Boom. Okay, we're going to hop out of cap so you can see it now. Filled all the way in. Good deal. Bottomless pit. We earned 18,000 uh, credits and zero XP because it's a tutorial. Uh, oh, drive drive to the drive to the dealer. Okay, we've got to take this thing to the dealer. I forgot about that. All right, back in cab here. Uh, and we'll get a good uh, view of what it's like to just drive one of these down the street. I think we're just going across the road. So here we go. Enjoy the ride. Okay, vehicle dealer discovered. There we go. Uh, we can just park this anywhere. I'm just going to pull it right here. This seems like a good spot for it. G, we jump out. We go enter the concrete mixer. Look at this bad boy. Cat machine right here. All right, and full disclosure, this is a really long drive. We're, we're going to jump to it. Also, you can fast travel. I'll show you that once we get done and we start to head back up to the, mo uh, to the gas station. That's where we're going back to. Got to fill that in with concrete, remember? Right. Okay, here we go. Again, you'll get to see me drive these plenty. Not a big deal. All right. Tutorial stop under the area underneath the concrete silo. Filling process to be started. Gravel plant discovered. So, again, once you discover a location, you, you are more than capable of fast traveling back to that location. So, here we go. Extraction. We have to hold it down. Okay. Fill it up. Press and hold. Open the context menu. You can do that, too. There we go. Machine is full. Go back to the gas station, but instead of going back to the gas station, we're going to open the map. And we're going to go, I know we're down here, and it's telling us to go back up here uh, to the gas station. We can fast travel because we've already been there. So that's all you got to do. Cutscene. Look at that Mac. Beautiful, beautiful truck. All right, so we're already here at the gas station. That's cool. Uh, the arrows, uh, arrow keys left and right. Control the little concrete thing on the back. You can't see that because, of course, the pop-up uh, is happening right now, but... Uh, you see left and right arrow keys. Watch the little thing on the back there. Your concrete spout. There you go. Uh, easy peasy. We're going to pull up alongside this with some Rocky style montage music, apparently. Uh, right. Right here. I'm trying tutorial. Just, just get out of my way. I can't see. Uh, another thing with the tutorial is they put that right in your way. It should be up here on the side or something. This is really weird right here. Uh, stop. Uh, stop close to the framework. Open the context menu with F. Uh, press this button to start. So before you do that, though, you want to make sure this is aimed at whatever you're starting at. Uh, because if you if you don't, your concrete will just be going out on the ground. So there we go. We'll do this and do that. And then boom, off it goes. It's going to fill up. And you can watch it fill up as it goes. If I can get the camera to stop being weird. There we go. See it filling up. Watching the rebar disappear. Boom, auto stops. Cool. Speak with Hoppy. Okay. Pete and Helena bought this property back when the town was flourishing. Most businesses here are family owned like this one. It'd be a shame if they had to shut their doors because they're no longer profitable. Of course, things look pretty bleak if no visitors are coming to town. But you know what? Joe and I had a great idea that may sound a little crazy, but we have to give it a shot. Take the broken tank to Joe's motel. Then I'll fill you in over there. See you soon. Okay, broken tank going to Joe's motel. Uh, I don't know what he's doing, but all right. Rumor mill accepted. All right, so here we go. This is as far as I got last time. Uh, oh, also it wants us to, uh, 
park near the gas pump, get fuel and repair real quick, which we're gonna do. Uh, so park near, park near, not run over. Uh, so we can hit T for fuel, and then R for repair. So we're gonna hold T. We're gonna refuel the truck. Bottom right hand corner, the little blue bar going up. All right, and then repair. Hold R for repair. The little green bar underneath that. If you look in the bottom right hand corner, it's all of your stuff there, all together. So that's what you want. You want to be able to see all that together. All right, over to the motel. Okay, it's wanting us to turn in. We turn in here. We're going behind the motel where we stopped earlier. Let's hop a parking spot. Right, what's going on here now? Yeah, this is legit as far as I've been. So everything else after this is new. Ah, perfect timing. The preparations are underway. I'm sure you're wondering what exactly we're up to. Well, it's like this. We need something spectacular to keep this town from going completely under. So we'll work some magic here and special effects there. And presto, we'll have swarms of tourists coming for a peek with their cameras. On the outskirts, there's a place that we already set up for our plan. We just need your help to put the final piece in place. We should be finished by morning. Okay, I don't know what that means. I haven't done this one yet, so uh, here we go. Oh, the little golden hammer right there. There's one at the gas station too. Those are collectibles, by the way. Okay. Uh, now what? Rumor meal. Enter flatbed truck. Oh, that's a UFO. Yeah, that's a UFO. All right, apparently we're taking a UFO somewhere. Let's go. Uh, lights. Yes, at least lights are real. Uh, it looks pretty good, doesn't it? Now, well, you uh, now you only have to drive this thing, uh, thing out of the city without anyone seeing you. Okay, well that's gonna be difficult. Hop a. Be very difficult. It's like an old ghost town out here. I'm pretty sure somebody saw me, Hoppe, but uh, I tried. Oh, going even further. Okay. I also saw a hammer out here, too. Good to know. Okay, what are we doing here, buddy? Uh, enter backhoe loader. Okay. We'll grab this hammer and I'll show you what that does. Boom. Collectible. Found one collectible. All right, sweet. G, enter. All right, what are we doing now? Uh, excavate trench. Oh, this is gonna be difficult. I've never done this. All right, here we go. That got a full bucket load. Where are we putting the dirt? Does it matter? Right here, I guess. Okay, that took a while. Trench excavated. Uh, clear the marked area. All right, let's clear the marked area then. Okay, place object. We can get out of that thing then. That took a while. That's really, really, really uh, loud too. All right, uh, there we go. I did not mean for that to take that long, but uh, it's not really me. It's, it's the game itself. All right, so we're placing a UFO basically. Is what, what it looks like. We're gonna place the unidentified flying object. Alright, so let's go up and up here, unfold, and again I'm going to change my camera angle slightly just so I can see better. There we go, out we go, and then down, click, yes, out, boom, extend. There we go, okay, let me just fold that back up. Uh, hold it back up. There we go. Reset. Uh, drive to Hapes Company. Okay. 491. I don't know if I can trash travel. I won't try to, though. At last. There you are. Now all we have to do is keep our mouths shut and see what happens. But one thing's as certain as the sun rising in the morning. The people in this town love rumors and headlines. Soon, everyone will be talking about the glowing object from another world. I'm sure of that. And all thanks to your help. Good job. Well, Listen, thank you. To be honest, I'm pretty satisfied with what I've done with my life. My career has been rock solid, but I also think it's high time that I retire. My business is small, but in good shape, and it needs someone to pick up the reins. And I honestly can't think of anyone better for this job than you. So, what do you say? He has no idea. I'd stick around for a while to help until you're on your feet. Deal? Uh, sure? You have no idea what you're getting yourself into, buddy. I'm gonna be real honest. Acquire company. 
boom, we have our own construction company. Congratulations on running your very own company. If you want it to succeed, you should stop by regularly and familiarize yourself with everything. I recommend you first take a close look at the upgrade levels and start meeting the goals listed there. It's the only way to qualify for the big jobs in town so you can someday leave this place behind. You should also take a look at the vehicle fleet and the finances to see what it takes to manage your construction equipment and get an overview of your financial situation. But the most important thing is fulfilling the orders. It's the only way you can make money to keep expanding your business and afford new construction equipment. So get to it. Nope. Running a company isn't an easy job, but the best way to start is by getting started. The rest will work itself out. Trust me, and I'm still here for you. Every time I think he's done, he keeps going. All right, there we go. <laughs> Man. All right, uh, that's the tutorial. Uh, and it took me an hour. Uh, to do the tutorial. Uh, Deuce's tutorial. You see it over there on the side. Nice. Uh, so it actually names your company. Progress, you've advanced at player level and have received a new skill point. Sweet! Uh, so there we go. Deuce's tutorial right there. That's my company. Remember to join me and Bone on Saturday, September 24th. Check the channel. Subscribe, like, come back, watch some more with us. Watch for those live streams.